We are at the site, the intersection of Collin and Stunton Island. We have over 30,000 honeybees here. We have an expert here. Going to be checking out the colony size to get an understanding of what he needs to do to take care of it tomorrow. Am I in safe range if I stay still? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, shnikes! Look at that! That is huge! Wow, there you go. Okay, that's all we can do for right now because we're gonna have to uh, cut the frames out and then install them in wooden frames or cut cut the comb out and install it on wooden frames uh, with use of rubber bands and string and then transfer them into a hive but uh, they're, they're pretty docile I mean they didn't attack so the, technically they're not Africanized usually south of I-4 corridor is Africanized bees um, and uh, Domestic honeybees, apparently somebody's hive swarm, possibly even one of mine, and made their way over to here, found a found a hole in the ground and decided to set up housekeeping. How long would you say that's, that's been there for? You, you can, there's no way to Based on the, on the hive, you no can't tell? Because yeah. they can because they can build that much comb in anywhere from three to four days or two to three weeks. So it uh, could be, I mean, they could have been here, they could have only been here a month and done that, or they could have been here several months. Huh. So. They've been in here about uh, two or three months. Yeah. Well, there we have it. The land of opportunity gives us all the exciting opportunity Compliments to see. Compliments of the Volusia County Beekeepers Association. There you go.